Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Happy Valentine's Day. I thought today that we could get ready together and I also answer some Instagram question and answers that I asked for. Um, but yeah, if you really want to look at me while I do my makeup, enjoy Valentine's Day with me and enjoy a chatty Q&A, please keep on watching. But before you do, please hit the red subscribe button down below. But yeah, let's get into it so let's get into it i've just primed my eyes um and today i'm gonna use one of my favorite palettes the M M mitchell palette and i want to do some pink eyeshadow for valentine's and i'm going to upload this on valentine's day so we can just get ready together to go nowhere so so let's just dive right into it i'm also going to answer some questions and make it like a q a but i'm going to start off with this one which is called milkshake and then add morning glory as well so let's begin the first question was what are you gonna do first when we're actually free i love the wording <laughs> when we're free um i don't know i'm not gonna lie all i want to do is go on a night out i think this color is a bit light a bit too light we'll see but yeah when we can go on a night out but i feel like that is definitely going to be a while so when we can go on nights out that is going to be up there um i just really can't wait to go camping so you know you will buy absolute crap in lockdown that you don't need well i got a six man tent i've got a six man tent just chilling so that's really fun um we really want to do a tour of Wales. Um, I've actually never been to Wales. I really want to go. I think we want to do Conwy. If I pronounce anything wrong, I'm really sorry. But I can't remember one of the names. Is it Landjoro? <gasps> if you Welsh, I'm so sorry. Um, Pembrokeshire. Barry. And is it Wire Valley? Where sex education was filmed like some of the scenes we really want to do a lot of them so that is actually going to be really really fun i can't wait for that yeah literally i can't wait for summer now though like i understand why all this was easier in the first lockdown we could have barbecues and have ice cream and all that like it's so cold like it's literally i don't want to talk about it we're literally not here right Now I'm using Morning Glory, which is the dark, I love the name of that. Um, just to darken it up because that other pink was a bit too light. But I literally love pink eyeshadow so much and these like three colours I'm using are literally my favourites ever. So another question I was asked, which I don't know why, but I find it really funny. Like, does it look like I live on a farm? But someone asked if I live in a farm or in the countryside. Um, neither, I just live in a village um it's not it's not a big village we've got the beach 10 minutes away we don't really have much here we only just got mcdonald's here like last year um but i feel like there's lots of surrounding countryside um like the nearest city is like 30 minutes away like i don't really live near anything like that but yeah we're surrounded by a lot of countryside we have so many countryside walks and stuff which is really good like you can look ow <laughs> just hit my hand if you literally walk like 15 minutes up the road there's like a massive river and a massive countryside walk i don't know why that made me laugh like does it like i live on a farm i feel like it just doesn't well i don't know i'm just building that color up on both but the next question is would you ever cut your hair short um probably the only reason i just don't cut my hair is that i just i don't like going to hairdressers like for no reason like i've never had a bad well i have i've had a bad dying experience but i've never had a bad experience of a hairdresser like they're all so lovely i just get really anxious going to them that's why i just dye and cut my own hair i, pr I like it a lot shorter like i cut it to like here um to a hairdresser actually did two years ago and i feel like that's like it was my hair was just so much healthier than it is and i really liked it i don't think i could ever go too short i don't know but i feel like short hair every time i see someone with really short hair i want it 
um i feel like it'd just be so much easier to have and they just look so good but then i feel like i'd hate it but i don't do anything with my hair like i just i can't be bothered okay now i think i'm gonna darken up the outer corner i've never used this shade but it says it's called mini and i feel like it looks really nice i feel like it might darken up quite nicely i don't really have a dark pink i just put my nail in the green um oh my gosh shall we then <laughs> this video is a mess i have this color i could do like a purple but i feel like i've done that before let's use mini there's someone asked tea or coffee i like both if you're british and you don't like tea i feel like that's just weird but oh, gosh break up you know sweetie but yeah I prefer coffee, like I'd have that more if it didn't give me heart palpitations. So I actually don't really drink either right now, but I do love, 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 love them both. Sometimes I just really crave a tea and toast. I feel like tea and toast is like an elite combo. What a good chat. <laughs> no one cares, but, well, someone did answer. Someone did ask. Oh, I like that. It's like quite a nice wine shade, but it's just darkening up the outer corner, but not too much. I feel like that would look really good with brown tones as well. Okay, so someone said favourite feel-good movie. I don't know why, but anything with Adam Sandler in, like, if I just want something to watch that I know I'm going to enjoy, oh my god, what's it called? Why can't I think with Jennifer Addiston? Aniston? Addiston? Am I okay? Where they go on holiday with the children. Do you know what I'm on about? Yeah, no. Grown up. Um, Do you, you know what film I'm on about, don't you? Yeah, With Jennifer Aniston and him, and she has two children, and they call they call like Pooh's Devlins because she hated a girl in high school. No idea. You've lost me. You we've watched it. They go to the. Um, Hawaii, because the kids make them, and he takes that girl, and she's like, got massive tits, and she's blonde. Jesus. Imagine I got it off the lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still filming, so people just see me like, what? <laughs> it's not blended, but blended's a really good one. That's gonna, can you Google it, please? It's really gonna annoy me, just Google it. What would you Google? Just go with it, just go with it, is like one of my favorite films ever. I just love that film so much. I feel like it's just such a good feel good film. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get there, but it's fine, we remembered. Um, so I'm gonna take the shade Michelle, Michelle. And okay, so I'm gonna take a brush and wet it with some setting spray and take michelle these are like pressed pigments so they're so cool though look at that these colors are so good um someone asked what my favorite thing is to snack on at the minute i'm obsessed with pita bread and hummus mm, i love pita bread and hummus um look at that color What else do I really like? Yeah. All right. Um, anything really that's like under 100 calories, I feel like I'm obsessed with. Um, skinny whip bars. I've just bought and found the cookie and cream fibre bars. So I've placed all the colour on. I've sort of like curved it out um, like a pretend cut crease, like a half cut crease. I don't know if you can see. But then I'll blend Morning Glory again. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I feel like I do need to darken up this bit a little bit more. And then I kind of want to do like the double eyeliner, but with the pink. So do a black and then a white. So like that could look quite cool. Maybe a white in the inner corner or something like that. Okay, so what do you think? It looks nice. I'm just going to blend it out a tiny bit. Not too much though. I quite like how defined it is. So I'm just going to prime using... I don't know why. Anyone just use the side of it and I actually drop it in. The Revolution nice and my drops. My skin feels so smooth. I just done like a face mask or like a pamper morning. That's why my hair's wet. But honestly, I love it. Not settling down. It's the wrong time. 
so i'm going to take my maybelline super stay just because i think it's running out so i may as well use it all up um and take a real technique sponge i need to give it another wash i literally washed it a few days ago but i mean i'm using it every day at the minute um but someone asked what's the worst thing about youtube <sighs> that's quite a difficult one do you know what i don't like um it sounds really weird but people like messaging at like they want to support you and then they just don't um i've just like i just ignore messages like that now because there's just too many people that are rude um i don't like i keep getting added to a lot of group chats where it's like if you add people all these people like follow you and it just i don't know i feel like it just shows why people grow faster than other people because it's just other people that want like your support and their support but just follow um if that makes sense or i don't know i'd rather just have people follow me if they actually just want to watch or want to subscribe to me have i just run out of if that makes sense i'd just rather it be i don't know i just thought it was going to be like a very like normal place like when i first started i was getting all these messages about sub for sub and support and stuff like that i didn't really understand it but then now i'm just like leave me alone <laughs> oh dear i've made so many good friends off youtube but um that's just the worst bit when i can't believe i'm trying to squirt this out and nothing's coming out um but yeah, that's just the worst bit because I've met a lot of really nice people on YouTube. But then I feel like at the same time with that, you get a lot of fake people here, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but it's just the truth, honey. A lot of fake people. Um, also, I'm not growing. Like my, I've already said this on um, Instagram. But my channel for the last month like, hasn't grown. I've just lost a sub and then gained one and then lost one. And it's made me feel really down. So I feel like stuff like that makes me feel really down. But at the end of the day, it's just how it is. And some months will be some months will be quicker than others. And that's okay. Um, it's just hard to remember that sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to use this Fast Base Concealer from Revolution. Elise got me this and I literally love it. Thanks, honey. Um, someone said, could I do weekly food videos? Like, what I eat in a week? And I actually would love to do that. I feel like I definitely might attempt it. But I feel like at one point, I probably would actually forget. Um, but I started doing them on TikTok. And I'm actually, like, really excited about it. I've nearly got 5,000 um, views on one, which is literally insane. Like, um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying TikTok at the minute. Um, to put all my food videos up so i'll leave that um down below i think it's just lorraine dewhurst if you want to check it out but i post a video on there every day about food mainly just what i eat in a calorie deficit or anything like that i've done loads of low calorie food videos that just reminded me i have a food shop coming between four and five today and i have no idea what time it is so that's good also someone said do you want kids i feel like i think i said this in my true or false video um but i'm just not really sure i feel like maybe when i'm older but they just i don't know they don't like i don't want them right now like at all like right now i don't see myself ever having them but you just never know <laughs> you could do and owen feels the same to be honest we just don't know not too bothered might have one <laughs> okay i'm going to cream contour with revolution conceal and define in 13.5 um someone asked favorite channels at the minute um definitely lucy gilbert and lauren worthy they're my like they're just my rocks they're literally the nicest people that i've ever met in my life and they're always checking on me if i put anything sad on my story or anything like that it just makes me really happy um do you know what i've really been enjoying watching chintzy and sphere's old videos um I don't know why i feel like i do live in the past with a lot of people but i feel like everyone's content back in the day was just so much better like i love watching their um holiday vlogs from like two years ago <laughs> my hair's annoying me um and stuff like that i just really really like them i feel like they're so funny 
and then when they used to do their vlog weeks like back in the day i just re-watch them even though i know everything that's gonna happen um but i've been really needing to watch in films at the minute oh actually i know shane dawson is cancelled but i'm watching all of his <laughs> i can't believe i just said that on the internet that was the most cringe thing i've ever said in my life um but i keep watching his conspiracy theory videos like do you remember when he did them years ago i watched one about free britney the other day and then all that's like come back up um but yeah me and my friends have been watching quite a lot of them i think we've watched like five of them um or maybe four we watch a, a video every night but we'll just we didn't know what film to watch one night so we ended up watching them and then the next night we watched some more but last night we watched the hunger game so i watched the hunger games for the first time which was really fun so and to all the boys I've loved, we're going to watch tomorrow all together on Valentine's Day, which will be dead, dead cute. I'm just packing on some banana powder from Revolution. This is the best powder ever. Um, someone asked, dream job? And I have no idea. I mean, I'd love to do this, but I feel like that is just, like, going to take years of work. Um, I don't know. Probably just something admin right now. Uh, sorry, it cut me out, but yeah, I don't really know what I really want to do when I'm older. And then another question is like a five-year plan. No idea. To be honest, I'd like to be engaged in five years, but I wouldn't want to be married or anything like that. I feel like I want to be married when I'm like 30. I don't know. I want to have grown loads on here. If I'm still here, I feel like I will, but I'm not, not bored of it just yet. Um... I don't know there's so much stuff that i want to do that i have no idea i definitely want to travel more honest in five years time i'm just taking my anastasia beverly hills um dip brow i'd just like to have a really nice house and be really happy in it um i just want like a free bed house you know i want enough storage i literally want like obviously a really nice honestly dream house right let's talk about that i'd like a really nice guest bedroom for all my friends when they come and stay if i had a basement that'd be insane because i'd love to do up a basement and make like a man cave in there i hate that they call it that but you know what i mean like put a bar in there pool table projector so it's like a cinema room slash bar um but if not me and Owen said we might get like a um, I don't know what you call them, it's like a Wendy house and put it at the end of the garden and do that and have like a bar because I really want to do that. Um, what else? I'd like to have a wardrobe room and makeup room because I just, I mean, I need a lot of storage for makeup now. Like, I don't even have a job right now. <laughs> Imagine when I actually could afford to buy stuff, you know? Um, but I'm, I've literally told myself I'm not buying clothes so I've lost the dress size. Um, because I've got too many clothes and you just don't need them. We're not going anywhere as well. Although, first night out back, I might treat myself to a nice night out dress. So, I'm going to take my favourite bronzer. Obviously, my Revolution Mega Bronzer in 02. Um, some, I got a few questions about, like, favourite makeup product or if you had to rebuy it all, what would you buy first? And, oh, let's talk about a few. So... If I had to buy any foundation, and it probably is like my favourite foundation ever, it's definitely the Huda Beauty Faux, Faux Filter. I know they've come out with another one though, um, but I have like a backup of my one already, but I'll definitely try that once I have run out because I want to see if it's like better. But that's the best foundation I've ever used. Um, This bronzer... It's literally like five pounds. It's the best bronze that I've ever used. And it's literally just from Revolution. Um, this is all I use as well. I'm trying to think of things I actually use every single day. Um, MAC Myth will always be my favourite lipstick shade ever. Um, so probably them for you know. Oh, and this banana powder from Revolution. Best thing I've ever bought as well. Revolution is just the best brand but I need to try the foundation. I wonder if they have something like faux filter that'd be really good. Also, I forgot to say I put um, the collection clear mascara through my eyebrows. I think they look quite good today. <laughs> Someone might be looking like no. But I don't know. They look different. But I like them. 
Okay. Next, this is my new favourite blush. It's going to be my February favourite. It's this Revolution blush and I Heart Revolution Strong. Um, I think that's the name of it. <laughs> Strong. Um, but oh, I just love this so much. I also really like the one that Elise got me as well. I think it's called Rhubarb or something like that. Um, but when I want like more of a shimmer, I use this. And I feel like this will complement the look quite nicely. I've just dropped everything again. But look at that. Oh, I just need it. I they think they've come out with more of these for Valentine's as well. So if I had money, I would buy them. Look how pretty that blush is. I always put it on my nose and on my cheeks. So if you watch my Revolution video, um, which I think went up like two videos ago um you see you saw elise got me this so this is um what shade is this just my type i'm gonna use this today because it's so good I really want to know what all you want to do after like when we're free <laughs> when like lockdown's over because i think um look how blinding that is but the review is in like a week tomorrow when we're watching this video so obviously we're getting an exit plan which i mean i just can't I just can't. <laughs> I just can't wait for it, to be honest. Look at that. This highlight is so good. Another favourite. I'm just glad that everyone is getting vaccines. And I don't know, it just feels like it's a lot safer. Even though there's still obviously a long way to go. But it's getting better and that's what matters. Take a bit of that and put it on there. <laughs> Brow bone. Um, but yeah, I just really want to know what all you lot want to do after... I have just got a big list with all my friends, but we just want to go out. We really want to have nights out. I want to go back to Liverpool and have a night out with everyone. We've all said we want to go Newcastle. We've never been there. Um, we all said we want to go to Brighton, which I went to last summer and I really enjoyed it. But I think I'd enjoy it a lot more if clubs were open. We went to a club in August and it was outside and it was the coldest thing that I've ever done in my life. They had heaters that weren't even hot. I was like, wow, thank you. That that was literally one of the first questions I answered. Does anyone else's brain do that? They speak about something, then they bring it back up like five years later. That is what I just did and I do that in real life and I'm sorry, but I was just thinking about it still. So I'm gonna use the So Dope Makeup Revolution setting spray. And literally just drenched my face. <laughs> but I really like the makeup going really well which is really good <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take morning glory and mini underneath on this brush so oh let's get it up these two shades from before i wonder what makeup look i'm definitely gonna film the first night out back but i wonder what makeup look i'm gonna do like do we go all out Sometimes I feel like less is more in a night out though. When people want to take pictures, I feel like when I have hardly any makeup on, it just looks the best. But I just can't wait to listen to some music in a club and dance all night and just never go home early again. I mean, that is such a lie, what I just said right there. I will definitely go home early. <laughs> so we're going to do a bit of eyeliner. I always use the Collection Fast Stroke. Um, but tell me about your Valentine's plans. I've got a little something planned i'm gonna vlog valentine's day and probably upload that monday or tuesday because i feel like it'd be quite nice it might not be the longest vlog because obviously i don't want to have um a recording of everything but it'd be nice to record some bits of it but i've done something really nice um so yeah i'm quite excited for that i might show you the card i got owing but it's quite rude so i might not <laughs> exposed it's just hard to think of things to do in lockdown as well so um, instead of getting owen oh, like a present i just thought i'd get like a few things my hair feels like straw so i just thought i'd get him like a few things to make it special um and like cute so i'm gonna take this nyx white eyeliner <laughs> did i just lose that and try and find it for about five minutes maybe but i'm just gonna put that over the top of the black 
like I normally do, like everyday makeup routine, but I feel like with the pink it looked quite cute. Okay, so what do you think? I feel like that looks really cool. I might join it up there as well. Not done that before though. I love it, look at that. I'll just do the other eye then come right back. So the white eyeliner is done. I really like it. I feel like it actually looks really cool. Especially with like the pink in the background, I feel like it's making the white pop. So I really, really like it. I'm going to put on some lashes, then we can finish with the lips and nearly be done. So what do you think? I just put on any lashes that were open. I think these are high maintenance, five pound lashes. I really like them. I really like how it's all come out. I love this Valentine's Glam. So next, I quickly just want to take this LA Girl brush from Beauty Bay and my Beauty Bay 9 colour palette and take the dark brown in and do some faux freckles because I feel like no look is complete nowadays without them. I really want to get the freckle pen from Misguided and try that out because I love doing freckles so much. Look how cute they look. I just always go over them with my sponge. Um, but yeah, next, I think I'm going to overline my lips a lot with Max Stone. This one is so old. I have a new one, but I'm just trying to use it up. So when you look a bit weird like that, I'm going to take a Mac Myth. This is a very pale nude and a lot of people won't like it, but it's like my favourite colour ever. Where'd the lip liner on the top go? <laughs> I'm gonna have to reline them. But. Okay. What do you think? I really like quite a dark outer corner and a pale nude. makeup is done so guys that is the finished makeup i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed spending valentine's day with me whatever you're doing today and i hope you're all okay in lockdown but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow for another video and if you did please like and subscribe bye guys